Welcome to another Arch Crew reaction video. I'm Shorty P. I'm Duke. Uh, today we're going to be reacting to Ruby Volume Eight, Chapter Ten, Ultimatum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, a lot of ish went down. That yes, last it did. Episode, a lot of ish. Um, we found out exactly what the Hound was. Well, no, not exactly, but we did kind of see what we were dealing with as far as all that was concerned. Like there were some guesses, some people had said some stuff and I'm trying to figure out like how Salem sleeps at night, knowing she did that to a faunus, to a, to a person, to a, something with a soul. I mean, she's a murderess. She really doesn't care what she does to anybody. <sighs> Um, it's pretty fucked up. There's a comment. Let me find it. Somebody made a like it was a funny joke. I want to make sure I get credit for this one. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. <sighs> well, crap. <laughs> I wonder if it got deleted. Um, someone said, I've heard of the fox and the hound, but this is the fox in the hound. That's sad. I was like, yeah. Well, that's that's I mean, pretty good. That's, that's pretty good and sad at the same time. That's very true. Um, I'm not, I actually, I don't know what type of faunus that was. Um, but it was interesting that it's a, it's a silver eyed person. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Um, and I was talking to someone and I was like, uh, you know, in a way, I guess it makes sense because they're both powers of the god. Of the gods, okay. The power to create Grim is the power mm -hmm. of the of the Dark Brother, right? And the Silver Eyed power to eliminate the Grim was the power of the Light Brother, right? So maybe that has something to do with it. Why they're somewhat compatible, I don't know. I don't know. I just know one thing: no matter what happens, whenever they come back, because eventually they will, mm -hmm. they're going to be pissed at her for doing that. <laughs> right. They're going to be pissed at her for doing that. They're going to be like, you did what now? You would think so. You would really think so. Yeah, it's, that's a... I mean, because they weren't really too happy with her when they left in the beginning anyway. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. It's like, they're going to come back and be like, you did the fucking what now? You, 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 you did that? Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, that's a, a gross abomination. Yeah, pretty fucked up. Um. Uh. Yeah, uh, oh, there was so much that happened that episode. Dude. Yeah. Um, you know, um, well, I mean, we left on the Hazel fight. Yeah. Which was fucking legit, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Hazel, dude, it, it went all fucking crazy. I was just like, dude, it, and he looked, dude, dude, dude was, dude was just beating some ass, man. Yeah, I, I it was. was like, Ooh. cause he, uh, man, the way he, uh, yeah, we were kind of, okay. We're, so we're kind of talking about both episodes because we watched them both in one day right? on the same day. Cause we were behind and then. They Ruby took a week off because of the snow and ice and everything. Right. Um, so the story of Hansel and Gretel, which was uh, Hazel and Gretchen, that's, that's their characters. Yeah. You know, they shove the witch into the oven. Right. And Hazel grabs Salem and bites that fire dust and lights them both on fire. I was like, that's fucking cool. Pretty fucking that's cool. A, that's a good way to bring it full circle. Yeah, like that's that. pretty fucking cool. Oh. So, uh, and then uh, Oscar was using some sort of fucking magic. Yeah. I don't, and I really want to know, I guess, hopefully this will answer this, like, what's special about the magic attack? Because she, from all the other attacks, she puts herself back together in seconds. Yeah. So how is this going to dismantle her to the point that they have time to escape? Because he was like, he, he said he had to do it because she'll just come after them. Hmm. So it's like, I mean, is it going to scatter her to atoms or something? Like, what's going to happen? Yeah. You would think freezing maybe might be an option. <laughs> right. Cryogenics. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you've seen Terminator 2, you know it's at least somewhat effective. <laughs> <laughs> the T-1000. Uh, as long as there's not any uh, fucking fire around. Yeah. Um. All right, right, everybody. Sorry, everybody. We digress. <laughs> Please like, subscribe while you're here. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about the episode and our reaction. We'd love talking to you guys about uh, what happened and what your predictions are. And uh, 
you guys always fill us in on good stuff. Like, you know, like you guys have the capacity to remember, like back to season two, episode one. You're like, well, uh, obviously they foreshadowed if, this. If you yeah. remember correctly, yeah. we're, we're like, no, we don't remember what happened two weeks ago. <laughs> um, hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all of our reactions. Uh, head over to patreon.com slash RH crew. Subscribe there for early access and bonus content. That's right. Uh, if you want to make videos like we do, and I highly recommend it because it's so much fun. Uh, you get to interact with people, make new friends, find out stuff you never knew. Uh, for recording or live streams, I use XSplit Broadcaster. Uh, it's super easy to use. Uh, it's got its own editing software built in, so you don't have to have like secondary program or programs after that. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, ability to adjust your audio, so you can uh, adjust your voice and sounds and everything correctly. Um, go check it out. There's a link down below. It's an affiliate link. So it does help us out. If you check it out, um, whether you take the free version or the paid version, doesn't matter to me, you know, just, I, I want to help you guys make more content like we do. Uh, we've met so many people through the community and I like watching their reaction videos like G2 Shane. Yeah. Uh, the grizzled geek podcast and right. they react to Ruby and stuff. I like going over there and watching their stuff. And then of course there's like Nidge and their action squad and all that. Like, we wouldn't know those people if it wasn't for this and us making videos. So like you will find like a good community of people that you enjoy making your own videos. Oh, for sure. Highly recommend it. Uh, expert broadcaster. Uh, they also have the game caster for games. It's, it's like, but you can use broadcaster for either one. Highly recommend it. I checked them all out. This is my favorite one. So that's why we use it. Um, and they don't pay us to say that. Like I said, it's an affiliate link. So yeah, uh, the only way we make any cash off of it is if you, if you follow that link. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Let's get started on the reaction. Let's go. I'm photosensitive. Can you hand me a drink? Yeah. Uh, while we're going through the intro, this kind of reminds me. Uh, if you guys do make videos or are interested in starting videos or anything, um, I am getting started into like graphics and thumbnails and all that, so... If you don't know how to make your own or just don't want to make your own, it is time consuming. You're editing your own videos. It's time consuming. Uh, hit me up. We'll uh, work something out. I enjoy doing that on the side. Uh, it helps, it, it, like I said, it really helps us out because all the money that I make from it goes back into this. So making our stuff better. Yes. For you guys to watch. Uh, also, this guy's kind of creative. So, you know, if you need help with some stuff, he, he's, he, he could probably maybe give you some, some, some advice. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I really like helping people out. This intro grows on me more and more every time I see it. Like, I liked it the first time I saw it, but like, here we are, what, 10 episodes in, and I still feel like every time we watch it, I hear more in the lyrics and yep. I catch more from the scenes that are going on. Guitar's on point. Yeah. Bass guy's laying it. Drummer's fucking sick. God, what's going to happen with Penny? She got taken over, but then the hound knocked her out. Mm -hmm. Will she be back kind of to herself? Will she just always be responding to Watts' programming? Send her kidnapped to Watts? So I'm assuming so that she can have him program her to come to Cinder. Mm -hmm. Sir, we have confirmation that Dr. Watts has escaped military headquarters to the assistance of Cinder Falls. We do have Jacques Schnee in custody. I don't give a damn about Jacques Schnee. What about the other two? Sir, Bronwyn and Hill have evaded capture. <laughs> Thank we God. Are monitoring every exit. Did they must still be inside the compound. We're moving you to another. Did Crow crap. just take that dude out as a crow? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Search everywhere for them. Do not return to this office until you have Crow Bronwyn in custody. Of course, sir. Damn, he's really scared of Crow. Mm. What's the status of our... <gasps> Oh shit, that's gotta be Oscar. Oh, 
Holy shit. Damn. I love this slow motion effect. It's just wiping out Grim everywhere. What the, the fuck? fuck? What the fuck happened? Well, there goes Neo. Neo being cute as shit, just yeah. like always. No injuries here. What? <laughs> I like her. She's yeah. funny. They were still inside. <laughs> He's so concerned about them. Like, it makes him such a good character. Yeah. I think he would be the the norm, honestly, as far as, like, soldiers are concerned. Like, destroyed. fuck, this is good fucked. Work. You yeah. know? But no time to celebrate. Return to the academy at once. We've got a new problem. But that wasn't us. Then we can tell him in person. Load it back up. We're leaving. I mean, that's probably mission critical information that should be traded <laughs> immediately. You would think, right? Yeah. I wonder if that bomb's going to come into play later now. Mm hmm. Because that was like a, it seemed almost like they went out of their way to say, load it back up. Did yeah. anyone respond? No. Well, she'll come back. In the interim, we need a plan. Plan? The plan hasn't changed. I'm going to rip the maiden power out of Penny Falandina. Because you're going to bring her to me. I beg your pardon? You said in your message that you have control over Penny. I said I had Penny under control, not that I could telekinetically force her to do whatever I want. What? I implanted a virus in her, you dimwit. She's on a set path now. At least she should be. As much as I hate to admit it, there seems to be some part of her capable of resisting. Regardless, it's only a matter of time before her mechanical body succumbs to the virus. She'll open the vault, then she'll destroy herself, and our little penny problem will be done. What do you mean she'll destroy herself? How am I supposed to take her power if she's dead? You know, it's impressive that you haven't realized this yet, but I don't work for you. Uh, yeah, but you finna do what she wants. Yeah. threaten me like everyone else. You think you're so clever, don't you, Arthur? Salem sent you to bring me back. Salem isn't here right now. But I think we can still come up with a plan while she's pulling herself together. First, I'm gonna watch you plummet to an unremarkable end. And then I'm going to burn a path directly to the vault, where I will wait to tear that magical puppet to pieces and take what is mine. I mean, yeah, that sounds practical. Why wouldn't you do that? you are because that's just what you do isn't it and how has that worked out for you you stormed into Freya's room thinking you could take on Ironwood's top fighter and war machine but you couldn't and that machine became the winter maiden oh and let's not forget your deal with Raven Brownwind get all your enemies in one place so you'd have a shot at revenge if only someone could have warned you against such a miserable <laughs> idea. Dude, are you really oh, doing this? He's I did. Got a death but wish? You pushed ahead and you lost it when all you had to do was your job. You think you're entitled to everything just because you've suffered, but suffering isn't enough. You can't just be strong, you have to be smart. You can't just be deserving, you have to be worthy. But all you have ever been is a bloody migraine. <laughs> I mean, he, right. In that instance, he climbed to the ranks into like maybe my top five favorite characters. I mean, he just told her off. He's like, "Fuck you, bitch, kill me." He, yeah, he let I go mean, of he really her hands did. and everything. It was yeah. like, I don't fucking care. Because he was right. He didn't tell her any lies. Right. He made her cry. Holy shit! 
He's like, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't kill me. I mean, it's kind of a G thing to do, really. He's like, yeah. fuck it, all right, kill me, bitch. What happened? Uh, let me tell you what's wrong with you. Oh, game Are guy okay? did join us. We're what's up, game guy? Yeah, we're fine. Is everyone there all right? We're alive. This will help, though. <sighs> Guys, they're okay. What do we do about her? <coughs> Hazel? I'm sending you a map. You're in the agricultural area. Just head to this access point to reach the Red Line subway tunnel. Then follow the route I've drawn for you. Got it. We'll see you soon. Bye. You can't be serious. You want us to work with her? I'm just saying yes. it makes the most sense. We're all enemies of Salem, including her. No, I'm with Blondie. You don't like me, I don't like you. So how about we just part ways and you never have to see Oh, me. she's coming after your ass. Going mm -hmm. anywhere. Not after everything you've done. We can't let all of our actions stem from fear. If she could help us, I think we should consider it. She is part of the reason I have this. I'm not going to just forgive her. Everything that happened at Beacon, she lied to us, tricked us. She is dangerous. We don't know why, don't game guy. Forgive her. I, I don't know Every why this didn't reach me. Just maybe give her a second chance. We've already gotten quite a bit of help today from someone we don't exactly trust right now. Do you mean Osbin? <laughs> I had a feeling. Wait, Oz what? Is back? I know how you feel, but he saved my life. And when we were tortured, he took it. So I wouldn't have to. It's all good. No, no, no reason to have a bad guy. He entrusted me with this, and the massive amount of power he had stored up in it. Mm, Kinetic like... energy that he spent lifetime after lifetime accumulating in the cane he built. So that's how you did that? Using all of the stored up power? Not all, but mm. most. Kinetic energy, so like every time he walks with it, it stores he power? Every time he hits somebody yeah. with it. Does. Wow. I want to reciprocate that trust. There's a lot to sort out, but Oz really wants to help. Thank Very you, similar to Blondie. Oh no. really Our see that fight ends. Emerald's he could really use having some like guilt? You. Yeah, she's facing what's happened. <clears throat> huh? It's about time. While we dealt a decisive blow to Salem today... Actually, that wasn't our payload, sir. I brought it back with us. Then who could have... You know, but here. you still have it. Mm -hmm. This may be useful. Penny still hasn't come to the vault, meaning Watts was either incompetent or he betrayed us. At this point, we'll never know. Cinder Falls attack command and escape with him. And that's not all we've lost. Sir? Crow and Robin have also escaped. Salem's creature was destroyed. But that doesn't mean we've stopped her. She will return, and she will throw everything she has at us until there is nothing left. And we are perilously close to that already. I need the Winter Maiden now. It's the only way Atlas can survive. <sighs> Schnee, bring me Ark, Rand, and Shaolong. What for, sir? I had Crow in my hands, and I didn't do what needed to be done. I will not make that mistake again. You gonna kill him? I mean, he is I know. pretty fucking far out right I'm now. I'm ashamed I didn't think of it earlier. 
Leveraging the lives of her friends? It's the only way to make Penny listen to reason. Sir, I'm sorry, but we don't have them. Operative Snee, let them go. Just fucking snitch. You... what? Winter allowed them to go on board the creature to rescue fucking their friends. Fucking snitch. And they never came back. Yeah, you should rapier her through the neck. Yep. Even though I don't think they she uses rapier. Hey. Chance. No. Now I have nothing. <laughs> Sir, we are detecting non-military ships on radar. Dozens of them. Hell ships. yeah, Whitley. Good job. Who ships. They appear to be Schnee Dust Company freighters, sir. They are heading straight for Mantle. Weiss. I see. They're why would he trying to save Mantle? Yeah, why would he care? <laughs> this has always been about Mantle, hasn't it? <laughs> I need to make a call. Uh-oh. I, I was just about to say earlier, like, I hope that... <laughs> Book! <Did> someone survived. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. <laughs> oh, damn. Yay! It's pretty fucking funny, Neo. God damn, dude. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I missed you, too. When I saw Ironwood standing there before they started talking to him, I was going to say, like, I really hope he can find a way to redemption. And then he took, like, this whole fucking turn where yeah. he's like, yeah, we'll just murder everybody, hold fucking teenage girls for ransom. Yep. <laughs> like, okay, well, you're not getting that. All day fucking. Where's Nora? I'll have to go back and look at that. Okay. Oscar, you... He said you can see Neo's contact info. Or contact no, picture. No, she's okay. I can... Kids, the cargo ships you sent just made it, but they're not alone. May? What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Run! Everyone into the bay! Is he using the fleet? Were those... This is an emergency CCT broadcast. Why? Fucking dickhead. What's going on? Those ships. Ironwood needs to they die, dude. Yeah. People. Why would... There's no redemption for him. I have him. always promised to defend this kingdom. Its technology. Its future. From those who would see it destroyed. Our enemy is crippled, but one individual still denies Atlas its salvation. The protector of Mantle. Penny, wherever you and your friends are, I need you all to listen. I know how much Mantle means to you, so I'm going to give you a choice. You can bring yourself to Atlas Academy and do your duty. Help me save as much of Atlas as I can, and Mantle will be left to fend for itself. Or, you can all watch as I destroy it. I have one bomb. That's all it will take. If there is no mantle, then there is no reason for you not to work with me. Neither of us wanted to come to that. But one of us is willing to do it. If anyone tries anything other than what I've ordered, mantle is gone. You have one hour to respond. Well, fuck him. I hope you live up to the title I gave you. You have one hour to take that motherfucker's head. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Man, that sucks. I really did not want him to go that direction. Yeah, but he sure did. God bless. 
That whale mm. is all fucking gutted. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucked. Uh, I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, I am too, actually, yeah. I'm actually like, I'm a little pissed fucking off angry. at the end of this. Yeah. He didn't use his goddamn gunships to kill but, like, three grim. Yeah. And then he uses them to wipe out an entire fleet of ships going to save Mantle. Yep. Why doesn't he see it the other way? Like, if they save the citizens of Mantle, they have no reason not to work with him. Yeah. It makes sense. It's like, why the fuck didn't Thanos use the Infinity Stones to double the resources in the universe rather than kill half the population? I'm saying. <laughs> Dude. Because the movie couldn't happen. Because yeah, the story it, couldn't yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Thanos was like, you know what? Never mind. Double the resources. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What a terrible... Yeah. Um, I mean, he would literally have been a god then. Yeah. Yeah. People would have probably worshipped him like, thank you. Thank Thanos. In that moment, if Ironwood had used his ships to provide cover for them, right, it would have fully redeemed him. Right. Like, hey, listen, I'll make sure that these ships are protected and the people in them are protected, but you've got to do X, Y, Z. Right. It's kind of like, well, okay, all right, so he's turning over a new leaf. Maybe we can try to work something out. I don't know. Maybe not, but dick move. A game guy says, when this episode started, I was like, I hope he can be redeemed, but now I, he needs to die. D yeah. Yeah. Yep. Fuck him. And Fuck that him. sucks because he's based on the Tin Man, and the Tin Man was like the honorable one in the group. Yeah. Well, shit. That was really disappointing. <laughs> I'm not. I'm saying, man. Like normally, I don't leave these episodes angry where I want to like yeah. do physical harm to somebody. But now I'm like, fuck that guy. Now you have to be impressed with the writing in this episode because it's leaving you with feels. Yeah, it is for sure. And that is that's when you know you've had a good story. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And especially when they're not the good kind of feels. Like it's easy to make people feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy. It's almost easier to make people cry. Yeah. This is even that bitter taste in your mouth. Yeah. But it's in the way that you want to come back for more. Yep. Yep. Because you kind of want to see him get his up and comings. Yeah. You're like, I hope, I hope they fuck him up. I hope they fuck him up. Because those ships, I mean, were they unmanned? Yeah. 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 They were, they were drone ships. Hmm. Still, he just, he just, he just killed thousands and thousands, maybe millions of people. Who knows? You I know? mean, in that way that like if they stay under there and either Atlas drops on them because the baddies get the, the staff. Right. Or he abandons them to the hordes of Grimm. I mean. He, yeah. He, that are still there. He killed the populace. Yep. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. I mean, it only makes sense that they were working with you when you were a good guy. Mm -hmm. They left you when you became a bad guy. Right. Go back to being the good guy. <sighs> you know what'll happen? Right before he dies, he's going to do the right thing or be like, oh, hmm. I just fucking know it. Yeah, he'll probably get that like stab wound or some shit where he gets to give a speech before he dies. And he'll be like, all I wanted to protect Atlas. Maybe we'll see some backstory. Yeah, there's one thing that I could do to help you guys <laughs> live. And then he like helps right. him or something. But to be completely honest, I hope he gets worse and they completely just fucking dismantle every bit of his entire body. They like, yeah. fuck him up. Maybe Crow can bisect him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That'd be, I mean, I think that's kind of where it's going. Yep. I mean, because obviously the main team, they're not human killers. Yeah. That's why they got the side character. That's why every story has like character, like, you know, like Goku, he doesn't kill anybody. That's why he's got Piccolo and Vegeta. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they fuck it, they Fucking fuck true. It. Yeah. They're like, he's like, Vegeta, why'd you do that? Because I'm Vegeta, bitch. Yeah. I kill people's. And Naruto doesn't kill people. Yep. That's why he's got like Kakashi and Sasuke. Right. I mean, they just, they, they murk people while he's yep. just like. And he's know. like, oh no, why'd you do that? Yeah. It's like, dude, you know what I was whenever <laughs> this started. You know? So like Ruby and the other kids, like they don't kill people, but like Crow, he's got no qualms about it. Zero. I'm sure Robin doesn't either. Yep. Yep. And and uh, so this is going to be interesting to see this next episode. Yeah. And, and game guys, right? Uh, Ironwood's voice actor, Jason Rose, deserves an award. Really good. Yes, he does. He's got an amazing voice. Yeah. Uh, game guy says, I bet it'll be Crow, but I would be really cool if it was winter. Nice. Oh, it could be winter. She's got yeah. some. You can see that she's, she's doubting him now. Yeah, she's not very fucking happy with the... Like, I mean, I'm sure, especially since that was like, I don't know, her ships technically that he shot the fuck down. Yeah. Pretty dick move. I don't like Harriet either. 
No, she's no, all fucking, fucking selling her out like operative shnee. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your name when I just I yeah. She at least needs to get knocked the fuck out yeah. at a minimum for being a snitch. <laughs> you know, maybe they'll give her stitches. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, we are in a time crunch, so we got to wrap this up. Uh, everybody, thank you for tuning in once again. Um, join us next Saturday uh, as long as there is an episode out. Uh, it'll be another live reaction to Ruby. And you can find that through our Patreon. Go check that out. Patreon.com slash RH crew. Uh, join Game Guy in the comments. Uh, he's looking a little lonely over yeah, there. Yeah, he is. He's like, Harry, it's a narc. You're right. <laughs> Definitely. And then, of course, he says, RIP Hazel for real. Yeah, for yeah, real. for real. RIP Hazel. Yeah. Badass motherfucker. Um, like, subscribe. Uh, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you thought about the episode and the reaction. Um, this one should be out on Tuesday as normal since they skipped a week. So I don't really see a point in a delay unless they're, uh, well, I don't know. I'll have to look at their release schedule. So we'll follow that. I'm not going to put this out, uh, until after they've released it to the public. So it'll probably be another week. Never mind. Um, affiliate link for exploit down below, uh, thumbnails, graphics, whatever. Hit me up. We'll see what we can work out and we'll see what my skill level is. So, uh, all right, everybody. We'll see you next time.